Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a toggle button. So, there is one way where you actually change a button state, um, but I don't actually like using that way, it's quite confusing. So I'm going to show you guys another way, and it's actually a lot easier. So, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to call this toggle button, and usually a button is just like, when you click on it, it activates a function and that's it. But what we can do here is if I drag in a button like that and center it horizontally um, and then what we can do if I go to uh, assistant now if I just create a link oh, and we'll just do this toggle button so oh, we should also create a action button clicked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable for this I'm going to call it toggle button checked and we're going to set it to false as default and now oh, why is that a UI view? Must have linked it up wrong um, uh, button clicked and I'll delete that. Okay, so now when the button is clicked, what I'm going to do is we're going to change this. So if toggle button check is equal to false, we will set it to true, and otherwise, we'll set it to false like that. Okay, so that's the first thing we do. Now, what we can also do is, while we're in these, we can activate some functions. So if I create a function, um, customize button on, I mean, what should I do? Um, selected, and this will be run when the button is set to true, and customize button not selected and this will be run when the button isn't selected so when the button is clicked and it's false that means the user is setting it to true so inside of this what I should actually do is I should um, run this function so it's customize uh, why can't it's customize button selected like so and I should, probably shouldn't have done that but it's fine so now when the, bu when the person is setting it to false that means he's trying to turn off the button so I'll run customize button not selected now that's all I need to do for the button clicked now what I can do is when the button is selected I can change the um, properties of that button and while I'm here I should also um, so if we're going to set the variable to false then when the view loads I should also customize button not selected actually we should probably give them better names like no it's fine actually so let's say I want the button to be orange when it's not selected and blue when it is selected so what I can do is toggle button dot set text color uh, set title color that's what I mean and we'll set it to orange when it's not selected and this is for dot normal and when it's selected we'll set it to blue oh and let me run this and we'll see how this works so first it's going to be orange since we run this and it will make the button orange so if we just wait for a bit and you can see the button is orange now when I click on it you can see it changes to blue and let's say we need to access the state of a button um, so what I can do is outside of this I can just print the toggle button checked and what this is going to do is it will print whether the button is selected or not so when I click it you see it's true because I just set it to true I'll set it to false and you can see that it's changing so I know this seems like quite a long way of doing it but it does give you more control over how you want to use it and you can also change the button midway through if you really want to so yeah the only problem is you'd have to do this for every button if you're trying to make a toggle button so I would recommend trying to make an extension 
where you can check if it's checked or not and also check I also change the um, properties of it other than that this is a good way of changing a button so that it's checked or not thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye